Good morning, beautiful people. Happy Money Making Monday, or should I say Motivational Monday? Because today is the start of the rest. Baby, you summertime. Fine. I let you get on top. I But earlier I ended the video saying today would be the first day of the rest of my life. Due to the fact I have come to the conclusion that I'm not 100% happy with my body. Haven't been for a while now. So I'm like, why talk about it, be about it? So I have committed to going to the gym at least three times out of the week and occasional Saturdays as well. So today I just completed my first day of going to the gym, as well as I'm going to start eating correctly. I'm back on my low carb diet because that was really, um, I was really successful with that. So I'm gonna go back to it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. So going back to that, working out three times a week, and this is all for health. Yes, of course, I want to see like results as far as with weight loss or as far as with getting more tone and things like that. But all for health as well. Like life is too short. We can't be around here being all obese like most of the majority of Americans are obese. Um, just got to get right. Get it right and get it tight, you know. So that's my mission that's the journey that I'm on listen if you all have or some ladies or even gentlemen out there if you have some workout plans you want to share or heck I'll share mine as well or some recipes for low carbs let's do this thing together um, I don't really have any family or anything like that here in Texas so it's like I'm really doing it by myself I mean, I got co-workers and stuff, but I live so far out from everybody else. So I really don't have like a gym partner or whatever, but I feel like, you know what? No one is better than yourself to motivate yourself. So get on it. Stop making excuses. But yeah. So if you see a girl trying to eat a piece of pie or some cake or something like that, check me and be like, girl, I thought you were doing that low carb or low carb diet. Or girl, did you go to the gym today? Just check me. All right, so I'm heading home because I'm tired. I'm tired, boss. Fact. Happy Tuesday. Um, I don't have a training topic for today. I'm gonna make up my own training topic. Are pre-workouts good for you? So yesterday, you know, was the start of the rest of my life. I told you all uh, I'm committed to going to three times of the week to the gym, eating right, things like that, because I want to get my body back right. Okay. So, I took some pre-workout before going to the gym. It was like about six-ish. Took the pre-workout. Y'all, tell me why I have not been asleep. Like, I was sitting up there with my eyes closed in the bed. Well, first of all, when I came from the gym, I ate. I drank a lot of water, things like that. I was good. So, I'm sitting in the bed trying to go to sleep. Y'all, my wheels would not stop turning. I'm thinking about what I did today, what I ate today, what I'm doing tomorrow, what I'm going to say tomorrow, what I'm going to wear tomorrow, what I'm gonna, where I'm going to go tomorrow. Like, it was just too much. Like, I was just sitting up there like, please, Lord. I started praying, please, Lord, let me go to sleep. And I could not. So I'm running off of zero sleep. So if I fall asleep today in this workplace, that's going to be tragic. By noon, I'm going to be a damn mess. Watch. This is crazy. What's in the damn pre-workout, y'all? I think I, it was C4 is what I took. It's some of Mike's pre-workout. I think instead of me taking one full scoop, I'm going to have to take a half a scoop if I'm going to take the pre-workout. Because I like the way it makes me feel and I'm focused. But this no sleep crap. This ain't going to work. This ain't going to get it. Y'all pray for me today. Oh, what's up, y'all? Coming to you on my lunch break. I know I looped the shovel. The wind is blowing like crazy. 
and my eyes are so freaking heavy. I don't know how I'm going to make it the rest of the day. I'm so sleepy, I'm delirious. Seriously. This is really sad. Now I'm about to go back into work. Try to make it these few hours. Oh, Jesus. What's up, guys? Happy hump day. So, I know, yes. Usually I'm doing my wind down Wednesdays. However, we're going to have to postpone that at least for a couple of weeks because I'm very being very strict with my diet. You know, very strict with my workout. I'm actually on the way to work out now. Turn this radio down on the way to work out now so we're gonna make it work out Wednesday temporarily okay and I'm gonna share like what I'm gonna be doing as far as with my workout I'm gonna put that information on the screen now so today is back and what am I doing back and shoulders and also cardio I incorporate cardio every time I work out because um I was, I don't know if I said it before, but like my legs are my problem area for me. My legs and my butt. Now my butt is probably not going anywhere because it's kind of like genetic. I probably just have a big butt for the rest of my life and I just have to accept that. But that's okay. Because Mike likes it, so whatever. But um, yeah. So yeah, back and shoulders today. So <sighs> let's get it. Workout Wednesday. Temporarily. Good morning. Make sure we straight here. TGIF. Thank God it's Friday. And I literally mean thank God it's Friday. Uh, man. I'm not even going to tell you all about yesterday. Because I'm not even going to bring that neg negativity back into the atmosphere at all. I didn't vlog at all yesterday. But anyways, I've got to come up with a way, guys. Moms out there, give me some tips with Madison because she does not, either she doesn't like the car seat or either she doesn't like the ride to work and, you know, from to work and back home or whatever she doesn't like that ride um like she'll cry from the time that we we're like a couple of minutes away from the house up until we get to her daycare you know where i drop her off um so i mean i have toys in the back seat you've probably seen them in the vlog as well when i'm filming the car but i have toys you know i'll give her snacks and things like that but that just does not entertain her at all for her to think about the ride or for her to cry all the way to the daycare and it's just like it's really hard to concentrate on you know driving as well as it's hard um you know when she's kicking and screaming because I'm like okay is something wrong is something hurting you know because that's just the mother instinct to just try to figure out what's going on or try to resolve the issue I can't just Mike's just like well just ignore her and keep driving like that's hard for me to do to just ignore her crying like especially for 20 because our commute is like 20 to 25 minutes sometimes 30 minutes long so to listen to your child cry for that long period of time is brutal for me so I don't know moms gives give me some tips out there let me know what you all do in order to keep your child from crying or something you know give me some type of idea but yeah, it's Friday. I'm so freaking glad. I hope this day flies by. I swear I do. But um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful Friday. And I will talk to you all probably tomorrow, if not tonight. Have a good day. Yes, it's 
Friday. TGIF. And where am I? Let's see if I can zoom in on that. I cannot. I'm at the gym! About to go get it in. Indeed. Focused. massage I told you all about last week that um, Mike set up for me I'm too excited so it's at 10 a.m. so I've been I've been up since about 6:45 because Madison was crying in her crib like get me out of here it's so funny <clears throat> but normally she has been like when she gets up, she doesn't say anything. And when I go in there, when it's time to get her dressed, she's in there playing. So, I don't know. But it's weird. Madison is weird. Because then she cries all the way to daycare. She's weirdo. But anyways, I'm looking for my lip gloss. Because my lip gloss is not popping right now. Oh my God, I can't let this dang on thing down because Mike has every paper you can think of. I think he got his birth certificate, his social security card. No, he don't have all that important information, but he has just like military stuff up here. <sighs> I guess I have to use the... on this side of town it's looking a little sketchy I don't know though I think this is kind of like near my job but on the other side I'm not sure hmm. interesting this is angry owl Southwest grill hmm This is the ritzy side of town. It almost looks like a um, perimeter in Atlanta type of on that side of town. That's what it kind of looks like. Besides the dirt in the mountains and the rocks. <laughs> okay, let me try. Let me focus. This is where the uh, massage is, right here. I'm confused. I'm gonna beat my ass. Okay, guys, I'm finished with my massage. <clears throat> it wasn't it. okay. This is a prime example of why you should never judge a book by its cover. Because first of all, on the outside, I was like, where the heck am I, and why the heck am I here? And turn right onto Executive Center Boulevard. I was so mad. I was like, Mike is always trying to do some bootleg stuff just to save a book <laughs> in half a mile turn left to merge onto i-10 east okay sorry guys i'm getting directions but um it was actually good i mean it was you know a small little room or whatever but it was so relaxing she had the music going and i mean a couple of times her phone rang so the music was interrupted but I mean, the ambiance of it all as far as with the, you know, she had the incense going, she had the the candles, the the oils, like the lavenders, the lemongrass, all of those are relaxing like essential oils. She had those. 
so that was cool. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I did. I feel so relaxed. And then I also stopped and got me a smoothie. This is my, I guess, my cheat for today because it does have a little bit of apples in it. Which I'm on my low carb and surprisingly fruit has a lot of carbs in it. But this has a lot of green stuff in it. Turn it's got to merge onto I-10 East. It's got kale, it's got spinach, it's got celery, it's got parsley, it's got a little bit of apples and something else, I think. But it's good. So now I'm headed back to the fam. <sighs> I'm relaxed. I can conquer the day now. Thank you. 